Welcome to Dark Portal Effects for Unreal Engine. If you like games such as Valorant or Kingdom Hearts, which is the main inspiration for the spec, you'll really like those portals. So you'll find different colored portals ready to use, such as white, black, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, which is my favorite because it's the one that's closer to the main reference of the portal. And the portal also has the capabilities of uh, adjusting the timings of it. Make sure you also check out the effects in the overview map light because it's at the light of day in an outside setting and it's pretty nice. It works nicely too. It conveys darkness and a portal. This VFX pack also contains sound effects for the portal states. So if you find the audio folder, you'll find out that there's the fade in, fade out, loop and one shot. It's divided into all of those sound waves because you might want to have the portal live longer or shorter, depending on that. But keep in mind that the sound effects have been designed with a fixed three second fade in and fade out. So if you want to adjust those timings to be shorter, you would need to also adjust the sound effects. Inside the maps folder, you'll also find the portal selector map, which includes this BP dark portal selector blueprint, which is a blueprint that allows you to test the portals and uh, switch between the different dark portal types. Keep in mind that this blueprint has been made for demo purposes and it's not a production game ready asset, but it's still really easy to switch between different portals and see which one you'd like the most for your game or use case. Inside Dark Portal FX, BFX Portal Particles, you'll find different Niagara systems and also the Cascade version of the portal. And there's a loop folder, which includes the fade out and loop versions of the portal. Why is that? Well, because you might want to have the loop exist for a bit longer and then have the fade out play when the portal disappears. So it's a super specific use case, but it's nice to have everything separate. To create your own version of the portal, I suggest duplicating the start portal 01. Right click, duplicate, and then rename it portal 10, for example. Open that up and yeah, you'll find out that everything is prettily and nicely organized inside those orange boxes here. And even if you don't know how to use Niagara at all, that's not an issue. You can access this blue square here and click the user parameters. And inside here, you'll find all the available parameters that you can change for the portal to be customized. I suggest testing it out just right here because if you switch the parameters here in the details panel of the level, it's okay, but it's just happening at a level basis and not inside the Niagara system itself. So then you would need to port everything by copying and pasting from the details panel into the Niagara system. And it's kind of tedious. So yeah, that's why I suggest mostly creating that directly inside the Niagara system. Press the G key twice on the keyboard to just remove all the gizmos and selection outlines and everything so you can see the portal properly. And then click the auto activate button to see it play again. Let's deactivate all the different elements here and you'll see that nothing's happening. Well, that's just because you just deactivated everything. So activate the portal and you'll see the portal slowly fading in, then looping for just a bit and then disappearing. If you want to test the timings for it, you can use this BP dark portal loop test. And this is a blueprint that will allow you to see how that portal will behave with different loop times, fading times, fade out times. But keep in mind, this is also not a production ready blueprint. So you'd need to adjust those to your liking using your own game logic. So let's say for example, dark portal time number two, which is the blue one. And then we want the loop to be like five seconds, the fade in to be like maybe two seconds and the fade out to be maybe five seconds. So now the portal appears during the first two seconds, stays there for five seconds and fades out for the other five seconds. That's the reason why there are two different particle systems in this case for one for the loop and one for the fade out. Back to our custom dark portal system, you'll find that there's a activate distortion button, which makes it distort at the base of the portal. You can see it there at Bexos feet, which is pretty great. Then there's the base, which is just the base of the portal. Then there's the smoke, which is a bunch of smoke that happens from time to time. And then the tendrils, which are those stylized tendrils that happen at the beginning. So if you combine everything, you'll find out that yeah, there's the dark portal effect. You can switch the base color. For example, let's make a blue portal from scratch, right? Uh, you can adjust the base color curve of the portal. So in this case, let's make it like third, something like that. And then you can set this to blue. 
And yeah, you can keep adjusting all the colors to your liking, but in this case, we're gonna do something pretty quick. And there's the smoke appear curve, portal smoke color curve, and tendrils color. Let's make the tendrils orange instead. Oh, that's kind of nice. So now you can see that the tendrils are orange and red, and the main portal and the base and everything is just blue. That's pretty easy, super nice to use, but again, if you do it using this level context, you'll have to port this inside the Niagara system, uh, parameter per parameter. So you can adjust the portal main lifetime. So for example, three seconds. So the portal will only exist for three seconds and then vanish. And also you can adjust the portal main size. So for example, 111 will make it kind of small and then you can make it higher, for example. Then the main spawn delay will make it so the portal has a couple of seconds, for example, of delay before spawning. So now you'll see that the portal is spawning right there and then fading out. There is this portal tendrils lifetime multiplier, so it's gonna make the tendrils live longer or shorter depending on the multiplier. So if it's by two, it's gonna last twice as long. So that's pretty cool. Portal tendrils secondary size min and max is a random range for the tendrils to exist. So let's crank that up to be twice as big, for example. So you can see the crazy, crazy, crazy tendrils going up right now. And the size is just the overall size. So if you make it something like that, you see that those are super slim right now. Scale scales everything. So let's set that to dot five. So it's twice as small or twice as big. So yeah, as you can see, everything is pretty easy to use, to customize, and you'll be able to create your own portals with no complications whatsoever. All right, so if you've got any questions or any suggestions for us to add any features to the pack, feel free to reach out to info at bfx.com or join our Discord server in which we'll be able to respond to you super quickly. So have a really nice day and see you next time. Bye-bye.